Hello, big boy. Now, how are we going to play this around? Which way, Senzo? Should we go straight and then... Yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just talking to Zenzo to try and find out how we're gonna park. That's gonna make it easier for everyone to have a look at this beautiful male lion that's right next to us. I think it's probably the way. Hopefully this won't give us a flat tire. Is that good or do I need to go a little bit backwards for you? A little bit back? Okay, sorry guys, we're gonna have a look in just a few moments. Just want to make sure that we get the best possible view for the camera because obviously we all really want to see this male lion. There he is, uh, almost. <laughs> Hello boy. How amazing is that? Now this is a real king of the jungle as they say, although we are not in the jungle. <laughs> Very beautiful. And you see we are actually quite close going back to Mrs. Violet's question from earlier on. We are pretty close to the lion but you see he's carried on doing whatever it is that he was doing before we got here. And that is exactly what we want all animals to do when we come and view them. We want them to carry on and pretty much ignore us as much as possible because we are just observers. We just want to see what they do, find out what they get up to, learn everything we can about them without ever bothering them. I think somebody's going through a bit of grooming and maybe an injury on his paw over there. Seems like he was in a fight actually. Doesn't seem like anything too bad. But it seems like somebody bit him on one of his back legs. Now he's being a very thorough boy and just cleaning himself. So if you've got cats at home, I'm sure you've seen your cat do exactly this, what he's doing. So he's just getting rid of all the little pieces of dirt, grass, pretty much anything that can go onto his, onto his fur, get onto his coat, because they are very clean animals. So they always like to be very nice and hygiene, hygienic. <laughs> Even when they, um, after they've eaten a lot and you can see all their faces are bloody and full of all sorts of disgusting things, then when they're done eating, they go, they take a bath and they take much, much care of making sure that they are squeaky clean. So beautiful. I think one of my other friends from the Maasai Mara is also out and about and he has also managed to find one of my favorite birds out in the Maasai Mara. So we are going to stick around with this boy while he <laughs> has a bath and make sure that he's sparkling clean. But while we stay with him, let's go over to Brent and see a very interesting looking turkey almost. <laughs> 